hi babes welcome back to my channel my name is adeni care and if you want to know how i achieved this look keep watching first we are going to start with skin prep which is the most crucial step when it comes to makeup Proper skin prep is what gives you that flawless finish, no matter what your skin type is. Hydration should be your main focus. Whether you are oily, dry, or you have a normal skin, hydration should be your main focus. Personally, I often avoid to use primer unless the skin is really, really oily. I prefer to use more moisturizer. Even if the person is really oily, I'm still going to use more moisturizer. Take your time to massage the products into the skin. This will not only help the products to sit better, but it also enhances your skin's overall appearance. You will notice that she's holding a fan very close to her. This is a great way to ensure that you are not rushing the skin prep. Give it time to settle in. All the products I used will be listed in the description box below, so make sure to check them out. So you are going to start with toner to balance your skin's pH and also to remove impurities on your skin. Then the next thing is serum. Serum is for that extra boost of hydration and nourishment. After serum, you want to go in with a very good moisturizer to lock in the moisture. This step is really, really vital to achieve that smooth canvas. You have to apply enough moisturizer. And you also have to apply more moisturizer underneath the eye because that part of the eye does not retain water so it is important to focus on hydration underneath the eye you can apply any eye cream or any moisturizer that has really good ingredients then the next thing is to go in with your sunscreen and primer you go in with your sunscreen and primer for primer you only want to apply your primer to your t-zone area that is places you sweat the most then the last step is a setting spray this is to just lock in the hydration i am using the benefit brow gel to set our brows in place when setting the brows you want to make sure that you brush the brow air upwards So for foundation today, I am mixing Becca and Nance. Both of the foundation are full coverage. I love combining different brands to create a unique blend and get the best of both worlds. This technique helps me to achieve the perfect balance both in texture and finish. I like to start with a brush for application, then go in with a beauty blender for that seamless finish. If you are having trouble blending your foundation, Try spraying a setting spray or a facial mist on your face before blending. This will definitely help to ensure you blend properly and also give an even application. Blending is key when it comes to makeup. Take your time to blend. When using a beauty blender, don't drag your foundation. Tap into the skin. You want to make sure that the foundation sits in to the skin. So make sure you are dabbing, you are not dragging. So for concealer, I'm going in with a correcting concealer. This concealer is a shade match, like an exact shade match before going in with a bright concealer. 
so i'm going to use a brush to blend this out then go in with a bright concealer you can see that i'm not dragging i am blending it into the skin I love a natural finish when it comes to makeup. I love when makeup feels like skin and that is the aim of this video. You don't want makeup to feel heavy. You want to be able to feel like yourself even after makeup. For contour, you want to make sure that you are using a dense brush and you are starting from the top of your ear if you don't know where to start from can you see that line that um can you see where i'm starting from that part of the ear is where you start from for your contour then you put your blush on top of your contour you want to see contour as a shadow like places you want to hide why i like is um places you want to brighten so um for a contour i just did a forehead a jawline a cheekbone and i'm currently doing a nose area so for a nose area i'm starting very close to the brows to give that shape and to make sure i lift a nose before going in with a bright concealer to blending i don't play with my blending i'm going back to putting the blush also to put in the contour again and to make sure that everything is well blended before i now set with my setting spray now we are done with everything liquid you need to know that liquid products comes before powder products when i mean liquid i mean your cream products like your foundation your cream contour your blush you need to use everything before you go in to use your powder products so after doing all of this i'm just going to set our face and now start to put our powder products
for a setting powder i am going in with the one size powder i love this powder so much i love how it blows out the concealer and it is really really soft one thing you need to know is always make sure you remove the excess powder don't just put the setting powder straight on the face remove the excess powder dust it on your hand before applying it on the person's face or on your face this is very very important so, so that it doesn't crease Can you see how the powder just blends into our skin? That is when you know whether your skin work is going to come out flawless. <laughs> So I'm just applying a full face powder here just to make sure that I set the foundation very well. And can you see how I'm can you see how I am applying the powder? I am not scattering the powder, I am dabbing in, like applying it onto a skin. So, I am using the Fenty Bronzer in shade 07 to bring back warmth to our skin. I am applying it on places the sun will naturally eat to create that natural sun kissed glow. And I am just applying it where I placed the cream contour. It's as simple as that. To bake her face, I am going to use this product from Zaron, a Nigerian brand. You guys, it's so so good. Like also to prevent fallout from eyeshadow i hope you guys are enjoying this tutorial and you have gained one or two please make sure to like and subscribe and also share me your struggles when it comes to doing your makeup so that i can create more videos like this for you guys i really appreciate the support we take the love that we make it's my favorite drug doing the final touches now adding a bit more blush today i am using she's a doll from patrick ta you guys i absolutely love blush like it really lit the face and, and brings a vibrant youthful glow to the complexion a little blush can go a long way in enhancing your overall look one thing you should incorporate into your makeup routine is to always spray after each step this is very important so that all the products can sink in the more you do it the more it sinks in So for my setting spray, I'm using this L'Oreal True Match and I'm also using this um, Dauba setting spray. This just brings back the hydration to the skin.
and that is the end of today's tutorial make sure you like subscribe and comment i'll see you guys in my next video bye